Fences and walls are not just barriers for livestock, they can also stop your dog in its tracks. So how do you train your dog to jump safely, with confidence, and when is it old enough to start? I like a dog to be over 12 months, its bones are formed. We start with a very low fence, building up to a high one, never barbed wire. I don't like dogs going, it, accidents happen, they're out on a bird, they won't stop at a barbed wire fence and they jump it. The more you get your dogs jumping, the more confident the dog will, will jump. You're much better to have a confident dog than one that's not sure. They're the ones that always get caught up. Today, the fencing we used has got rabbit netting on it to make the, the fences safe so a dog can't drop a leg down it. I start off taking my dog to the fence, a nice low one we've got, on a lead, Command the dog to go over, again, it doesn't matter what your command is, to jump over, I just use the dog's name or the command if I'm doing it on a dummy left, right and back. Encourage it over, if it won't go, you get over the fence, call your dog over and you can assist it with the lead, I don't mean dragging it over but try and encourage it over with the lead, then once you've got it going over on the lead, you can go to a higher fence which we're using today stand off the fence, throw the dog the dummy, send it, give it all the encouragement it needs. Tom runs West Haller Gun Dogs near Perth in Scotland. Visit westhallergundogs.co.uk. This series on gun dog training tips is brought to you by Skinner's Pet Foods, maker of the field and trial range of gun dog feeds. Visit skinnerspetfoods.co.uk.